Hello again, Game of Pauly with my new series, and it's Game of Pauly Plays, which is basically a let's play of whatever game I'm playing. And we've got the very spooky White Knight on the PlayStation 4. Uh, looks pretty awesome from what I've seen in the screenshots and videos. Basically a film noir slash uh, graphic novel uh, type of survival horror game. And before I click on play and select new game, I just want to show you the, the really cool thing on the menu um, when you move it up and down. See the music's quite eerie, so if I just press the up and down. So it changes down the music. Pretty cool. Right then, let's get started. So play. New game. And one of the old style records there spinning around. There's quite a lot of narration on the game, so I'll try not to talk over it as best I can and uh, anything you need to read I'll leave it up on the screen as well I might read a little bit but I think I'll let you guys read it if you want to uh, as, n as usual just pause the video if you want to read the the text on the screen some nights are just pitch black without stars and without sleep Dirty nights clinging to you like tar. Like this one night, back in 1938. Boston. The Great Depression tsunami was just sweeping over what was left of America. Misery. Hunger. Despair. Times are hard, they said. Times were worse than hard. And the bar was about to close. As far as I was concerned. This was just another intoxicated day drawing to an end. If only I knew. A very 1930s kind of look there to your character. Very old style detective. The game uses very little in the way of colour, as you can see. It relies heavily on the, uh, the light and the dark. The black and the white. It's very, very stylish. Chapter 1, Out of Course. groovy jazz style music playing in the background and it's like I can control the car only left and right mind so it's not a racing game don't worry even the credits are very stylish What a long road then, this one. Trying to let you guys listen to the music there. Didn't want to spoil it by me constantly talking over it. 
Mystic River. Oh, what's that? Light in the fire. Some sort of person there, or figure on the road. The shock was still echoing in my bones, as the image of that girl coming out of nowhere surged back in my mind. Did I hit her? Was she dead? I couldn't remember. Thoughts were spinning in my head. I hope I didn't run her over. I hope she's still alive. Then, the pain. The terrible pain on my side. And this question. Where am I? Reminds me a little bit of the uh, introduction to Silent Hill and the, and the car accident where you get out the car, staged and confused, not knowing where you are. No idea then if uh, I've actually run someone over or what's going on. But we're involved in a car accident. In pretty uh, bad shape by the, the looks of it. Despite the pain. So, moving my little detective man, I can examine the place using the cross button. The car was wrecked, I got lucky. No kidding. The car was on the brink of death, as it seems. So you've got a little bit of colour on the game. Uh, the car light is yellow. I think if it's a if it's a flame or a, a light source of sun description, I think you get a little bit of yellow. But mostly the game's going to be in a, a black and white style. What have we got over there? Not a lot. Is that a tyre on the road? The girl on the road, the impact, I couldn't find her body. Right, so there's no body to speak of then. We can't see anybody. What we got over here? Some sort of junction box by the looks of it. The box seemed to be connected to the electric lighting of the street. Can we put the lighting back on, maybe? No, sadly not. So. Uh, onwards and upwards then. What have we got? No body, no blood. Where did the girl disappear? I have no idea. Oh, same thing again. So, for help, I could rely on the Boston Daily News, which I could check with the triangle button. Let's have a look, look then. Have I killed her? Who was that girl across the road? I couldn't avoid her, but I never found her body. I couldn't get her desperate stare out of my mind. I was wounded and I needed help. Press the circle button to close. I've got a gate over here. So, it's like the best place to head. Uh, mailbox. Vesper Manor didn't ring a bell. My head was empty and painful. So, can we go in here? Right in here. isn't stuck then. That's good. Creepy I was trying to out. collect my thoughts, but the intense pain was scattering them like a bunch of dead birds. My fear of being wounded changed into an obsession. Was I about to die? So, 
bit worse for wear then. Barely make out the... Oh yeah, just about make out my little man here. Have a rest on the tree stump. W plus S. I would have considered that romantic under other circumstances, yeah. I think romance is the, the best thing on his mind at the minute. We've got a well here. Can we investigate that? Oh! It was quite a, quite a drop. A little bit Lord of the Rings, uh, like there. We just, uh, knocks the bucket into the well, full of a took. The darkness of the well spat a salty smell to my face. Lovely. There's some sort of ank symbol over here. Let's go and investigate this. Yep. This unknown symbol let out a powerful aura. It's kind of moving like me on a night out after one too many. Anything over here? Nope, can't investigate them, so that we go. We've got a for sale on the mailbox. Very Amityville looking house in it, very, very creepy. So, let's just for sale, the board looked as old as the house. I don't know why I said mailbox for it, it's a for sale sign. Uh, the arm came from a marble statue structure. up there we're walking. Let's go up to the house and knock on the door. Staggering up the old stairs here. The glass been left out on the porch, on the railing. There's still some golden liquid inside the glass. And a rocking chair. Uh, someone was here recently. Having a drink, a couple of bottles on the floor. Oh! And we've got a letter from, quite difficult to make out, Merthyr Kenton to William Vesper. I'll just scroll that up for you, if you guys want to have a read. I'm not going to read this one out. And then, if you want to, you need, if you want to read it, read it, just uh, pause the video. I'm going to scroll it up again. Give you guys a little bit of time to, to read it. Right, there you go then, I'm sure. So if you, want, if you want to read it a bit more, just uh, just pause the video there. So knock on this very creepy looking house then. The landlord was out, so the key might be around somewhere. I was all alone, with my pain growing, and some nausea starting up. Don't stop. Think quick. Think well. It was just an accident. It happens. The girl must have made it out alive. I had to make it out alive, too. Couldn't see a thing. The window was watching over a tomb. So it's pitch black in there. This old and damp planks which had fallen from the front of the mansion. So, doors locked, looks like we're looking for a key to get inside. So, I've got a, some sort of graveyard. Oh my god, who want to live next to a graveyard? Very, very creepy. So, off we go then, staggering over here. Park bench. Can we have a sit down maybe, get some of our energy back? No, can't do that. Margaret Vesper, born bent across. So yeah, very, very creepy. Oh. No key here. And some crows. I'm a big fan of uh, graphic novels. Um, love film noir as well. Um, so yeah, this looks quite interesting. Really like the visual style of it as well, the black and white and the, the minimal colour. Henry Vesper, a relative of the landlord. No, 